An Investigational Device Exemption, or IDE, allows an investigational device to be used in a clinical study in order to collect safety and effectiveness data required to support a premarket approval application or a premarket notification 510K submission. Clinical studies with devices of significant risk must be approved by FDA and by an Institutional Review Board, or IRB, before the study may begin. FDA approval is obtained by submitting an IDE application to FDA in accordance with the 21 CFR Section 812.20. Studies with devices of non-significant risk must be approved by the IRB only before the study can begin. A significant risk device is an investigational device that meets one of the following four criteria. It's intended as an implant and presents a potential for serious risk to health, safety, or welfare of a subject. It's for use in supporting or sustaining human life and represents a potential for serious risk to health, safety, or welfare of a subject. It's for use of substantial importance in diagnosing, curing, mitigating, or treating disease or otherwise preventing impairment of human health and presents a potential for serious risk to the health, safety, or welfare of a subject, or it otherwise presents a potential for serious risk to a subject.